Hello everybody, welcome back. Session 5 of Kingdom Animalia. In session 4, we, I explained you the general characters or salient features of phylum Cylentrata and examples. Today's class will study a similar phylum called phylum Tenophora, a small phylum which is almost similar to phylum Cylentrata. We'll get into the class. This phylum Tenophora, when I was studying as a student, was confused and it was studied along with the uh, Cylentrata phylum. I could recall I studied uh, uh, most of the examples of Tenophora under phylum Cylentrata only because both of them share almost similar features. That's why uh, taxonomists add placed Tenophora along with phylum Cylentrata, a part of phylum Cylentrata. And then they studied in detail further and finally they placed, they separated phylum Tenophora from phylum Cylentrata. And we are going to study phylum Tenophora separately. Now speaking about phylum Tenophora, we need to know general characters first, general characters and then few examples. They are commonly called as sea walnuts or comb jellies. They are found in sea water. They are found in sea water and they are commonly called as sea walnuts or comb jellies. Yes. First thing we need to know before speaking the general characters is the meaning of the phylum. The word Tino refers to Kum, Fora, to possess. Kum bearing organisms are called as Tinophora. Commonly called, they are commonly called as sea walnuts because a walnut type of appearance in their morphological structure. They are also called as kum jellies. Once again, jelly word is coming here. Jellyfish, we studied in phylum Cylentrata here, kum jellies. They will be almost like them only, but they will be possessing kum. Now, what is this kum? If you see this schematic representation here, the center one, green color structures you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This is how they look. See, that's why they are called as comb jellies. On the hand, you can see. The body possess 8 rows of comb-like structure. Body mail gade, int row. Eight rows of comb like structure which help them in actually locomotion. Due to the presence of this eight comb over their body, they got the name comb jellies. Okay. They are exclusively marine. They are exclusively marine. Example. IPL 2022 exclusively on Star Sports 1. What does it mean exclusively on Star Sports 1? The word exclusively they say that because this program is not telecast on other channels. Similarly, same year exclusively marine, they are not found in other uh, freshwater also. They are marine, they are aquatic and they are marine. They are found in marine water only. And if you see the body symmetry, what they have is similar to phylum Cylentrata. Tenophorans also have radial symmetry. And the number of germ layers, if you see, exactly like phylum Cylentrata, Tenophorans have diploblastic body condition. That's why before starting this session 5, attend or go through once again 
session 4 that is phylum coelenterata similarly there also we saw tissue level of body organization tenophorans also have tissue level of body organization the first point what i explained the body possess eight external rows of ciliated comb plates which helps in locomotion that is very important what is the function of this comb plates is very important from the examination point of view it is having eight external rows of comb plates you can see here i have given the number also eight okay one two three four five six seven eight eight external rows of ciliated small hair like structures okay in that comb that ex uh, okay, that helps the organism for locomotion digestion is both extracellular and intracellular if you recall in my previous session the last point was this one digestion by extracellular and intracellular so digestion within the cell is called as intracellular and digestion outside the cell is called as extracellular so both type of uh, digestion is operational in this organisms a very important point now this point bioluminescence definition is already there the property of a living organism to emit light the property of a living organism it need not be only tenophora it can be like arthropodans also it can be plants also living organisms emitting light is called as bioluminescence but in your textbook out of this 10 phylums in notochord sorry 10 phylums in non data bioluminescence word they have mentioned only under tenophora comb plate word you come across only in tenophora sea walnuts word you come across only in tenophora so these are some unique points to this particular phylum you need to keep in mind so bioluminescence so tenophorans have the property of emitting light that is called as bioluminescence that is a unique property for this phylum in coelenterate we did not mention about bioluminescence maybe some organisms may show bioluminescence but in your textbook they are stuck only to tenophora so we have to use this word only to tenophorans no confusions sexes are not separate and reproduction takes place only by sexual means previous class in tino sorry in cilantrata if you could see this diagram hope you remember in my previous class here i said this part of the life cycle of this organism has what a sexual mode of reproduction that is budding you can see budding here you can see budding budding is a type of asexual reproduction but if you see this <coughs> other half you see this other half here you can see here it is sexual because egg is here and also sperm is involved but so that's why we are telling just to revise Asexual reproduction was alternating with sexual reproduction of the life cycle in these sealant trades. So we use the word metagenesis or alternation of generation. But when we come and study tenophorans, you can see advanced type of reproduction. Sexes are not separate. Sexes are not separate. I gave you one term in my session three phylum porifera. So this condition we call where sexes are not separate both the sexes are present in a single individual we call them what hermaphrodites once again i repeat that's why i always say you to view session 1 to session 4 at least as many of as many number of times as you can because that will build a strong basic uh, information about phylum phylums and also kingdom animalia kingdom animalia will only be easy only if you attend those classes many number of times
So here also, if you see, sexes are not separate. So they are called as hermaphrodites. You need not mention here, but you should know that sexes are not separate and reproduction takes place only by sexual means. And whenever we say sexual type of rep reproduction is occurring, that means formation of gametes, that is fusion of sperm and egg occurs in this sexual reproduction. Fertilization is external. Session 3, in poriferans, I said, fertilization is of two types. What is the two types? One is external fertilization and one is internal fertilization. So here, sperms and eggs fuse outside the body because they are found in marine water. You can just assume this diagram. Okay, You can assume this is, this is a male tenophoran. This is the female tenophoran. Once again, I said there is no male and female separate. What I said, in this organism, in a single organism, both the sex organs are there. Here, only male may mature. Only male may mature. Here, only female sex organ mature. Once male sex organ matures, female sex organ will not mature here. If female or sex organ matures here, male will not mature here. So, they produce sperms and egg respectively. And the, the gametes, sperms and egg are released into the water medium. Fertilization, fertilization occurs in the water medium, not inside the body of the female or not in the reproductive tract of the female. In general, not inside the body of female. Here the fertilization is happening outside the body, that too in the water medium. So this type of fertilization, we call it as what? External fertilization. And finally, the last point, indirect development. Session 3, in poriferans only, I introduced this term to you. There are two types of development. Developmentally, yeradutara development is there. One the indirect, that is the primitive one, and the direct one is the advanced one. Indirect, if you recall, I, I gave you the example of frog, right? Where the from the egg stage to the adult stage, they will not resemble one another. The adult and the larva will doesn't resemble one another, right? The metamorphosis or the developments undergo many larval stages. So that is called as indirect development. Here also it is indirect development where the young ones are not similar to the adults. After uh, zygote, after the fertilization of sperm and egg, they form zygote and the zygote undergoes numerous larval stages to form the adult. Here they have not mentioned the name of the larva, so need not worry. You to just mention as they have indirect development. Once again, I revise. Yeah, two examples you should study. That is, uh, you should know. Okay, you should know two examples, Pleurobrachia and Tinoplana. Just mentioning the example, no diagram to write in this phylum Tinophora. And if they ask, write the general characters of phylum Tinophora, just write how is there in front of your screen, but in your own center. If at all they ask a direct question, what is bioluminescence and uh, any other important questions, then only you can go with explanation. For example, here we come across, they are radical, radially symmetrical, need not explain the definition here. They are diploblastic, need not tell the definition here. You can just tell they are exclusively marine and radially symmetrical and diploblastic. So, here I stop with session 5. This is a very small phylum. One assignment I will give you. Go through session 1, 2, 3, 4 again. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. Have break in between. Make notes. Pause the screen and make notes and try to know the meaning. I mentioned you write at least single sentence without seeing the screen or the notes. Any doubt, make it as a point. Whenever we meet one another, I will clear you the doubts. Do your homework well. Study well. I will meet you in session 6 of chapter 4, Animal Kingdom. Starting 5 sessions are very, very important. Signing off from you. Thank you. Take care.